about cars. 410 horsepower in the rear wheels with 438 pounds total. Uh, 373 gears, high box suspension. HP performance like most of all the others out here. It's got a lot of other bolt-ons, AccuFat plenum, throttle body, intake spacer. Yeah, see, that's like a foreign language to me. But nonetheless, I can't help but be intrigued when a classic car rolls by. They're like living pieces of history that reflect feelings of the past and spark memories of the days of lower, okay, much lower gas prices. Apparently, many of you feel exactly the same way. In the Northeast Florida area, there are dozens of car clubs for old and new models alike. And every month, there are as many as 20 events for the automobile enthusiasts to attend. Some of these events are car show competitions, but cruise-ins are open to any auto lover. Cruise-ins have been around for, gosh, 30, 40, 50 years. You show up at a parking lot someplace, and you just have fun. You show what you got. You name it, it's here. It's a mix of every kind of possible car. A cruise-in is a non-structured event where people just show up. They come and go as they please. There's no entry fee. Um, just come out, put your car up. It doesn't matter what kind of car, truck, motorcycle, van. It, just bring it. If you think people would like to look at it, bring it out, park it, and have fun with it. This is not a car show. Uh, no awards are given out of cruise-ins. You don't have to pay money to get in here. So you get the regular car owner. Uh, they'll, they'll meet with their friends here and then go either to lunch or to dinner afterwards. Um, it's a good meeting place. In fact, Jacksonville's many cruise-ins have sparked the beginning of many of the area clubs. Most of the local clubs are dedicated to one particular type of vehicle. A lot of the clubs in the area have grown from coming to a cruise in and meeting other people. Good way if there's not a club already, maybe we can help you start one for your group. We do cruises. Um, we'll cruise to Georgia, uh, St. Augustine or whatever, get lunch, come back, and um, you know, just, just one big happy family. It keeps most of them off the street being out here in the clubs. They're, we're safer than most uh, regular drivers out there. Too much money in the cars. While car clubs are made up of similar types of vehicles, the members are often very diverse. There's different cars, different makes, different people, different ages. So, and, and that's where the fun is. You have your muscle heads and, you know, you people that just like to show cars. You have your racers, and we have both of that in this club. We have guys and girls. They actually like to show. We have guys and girls that actually like to race. There's some really uh, high-end car collectors around here, and, and we appreciate those guys that come out, and, and we appreciate the guys who just have the lower-priced cars, too. It doesn't really matter. You, you all have something in common, so it, it's it's fun to talk to people when, about the cars, no matter what make, model, or year it is. But why is car collecting so popular in our area? You can do anything from the roots all the way to the Concourse de Elegance within a 50 mile radius. The gas prices here are maybe a little more livable so you can bring your big block V8 and play with it a little bit although I'm noticing a lot of people I think are trailering their cars to nearby and driving them in. As a whole you can participate most year round. We do drop off on a little bit of the colder nights when we get into December but uh, that, that time frame but all in all we've got such a good time and the weather is usually good year round for, for driving out to cruising events. Car clubs and cruising events are good places for people with an interest in automobiles to learn more about both the industry and cars in general. And those just getting started should not be intimidated by their lack of knowledge or unfinished vehicles. Didn't really know anything about them. You know, I just bought the car and I learned as I went. Learned by the car club, by cruisings like this, talking to people. and You're always going to find somebody here who wanted this car as a kid, has loved this car, now owns it. They know everything, including how many were made. The great thing here at a cruising, everybody is willing to talk about their car. In fact, you have to really tell them to stop talking about their car. We always try to promote the younger people coming into the hobby. Why? Is because they're the ones that are going to carry the hobby on after we're gone. If you're intimidated, it's your own fault. Uh, just come out. People understand it takes a while to build them. Uh, but come on out and enjoy the time with us. Anybody can bring. If they think their car's got something to show or say or you just want to learn a little more, come and enjoy it as long as you've got the gas money. If you're into car competitions, don't miss the first annual Iron Horses Open Car and Truck Show presented by the Sunshine State Chevelles at the Jacksonville Equestrian Center this Saturday. For more information on this and other local cruising events and clubs, check out my blog at jacksonville.com slash amanda. For jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford. This is my third wife. She'll be with me until I'm gone. <laughs>